You ready? Yep. Okay, I'm going to talk about the evolution of the Marine Corps utility uniform up until uh, 1958. The first Marine Corps utility uniform or combat uniform was the P-41, uh, sorry, the P-41. This is an example of a P-41 jacket. This jacket is in mint condition and it has a single pocket with a very distinctive USMC emblem. It also had two patch pockets at the bottom of the coat. This was strictly designed as a work uniform and the coat was designed to be worn outside of the trousers. This uniform was universally hated by senior officers in the Marine Corps because it had a distinctive unmilitary appearance. It also had a cap with a short brim similar to this but not exactly like it. No emblem and a short brim about this, this length. That was a P-41 utility cap. If you can find one, they are very rare. Very, very rare. The second uniform was developed in 1944, and it was the P-44 utility uniform. As you can see, it has no pockets at the bottom. It has a flap on the one pocket at the top. It still has the same emblem, and it has what was called a gas flap, which could be buttoned inside of the coat to keep gas from coming through the opening that would have been there had the thing just buttoned down the front. It also had buttons on the back of the collar for a hood. However, no hood was ever made for these coats. I always wondered why those yeah, buttons were there. It's for a hood. For a hood. Mm -hmm. It had buttons on the inside for the gas flap. See the gas flap has a buttonhole yeah. here, a buttonhole here. This was a very expensive coat to make. The Marine Corps um, never made them after 1944-45, and they were used through the Korean War. What about what about that insignia on the sh on the shoulder? <coughs> Where, oh, on the P-41 and the P-44 utility uniforms, the rank insignia was stenciled on. This is a PFC. And it went, there, were, there were marking kits that allowed these to be stenciled on. This was not done with a kit. This was done by hand. Hmm. I'll show you one that was done with a kit. What about that name on the front? Was that something that was on the stencil kit? That would have been a rubber stamp. A rubber stamp. A rubber stamp. <coughs> they also would write them. And on this, the stencil uh, USMC on the front, is there an EGA on there? Yep. yep. There's an EGA, yeah. and it's exactly the same as was on the P4, P-41. Did they uh, modify the placements? Could you do that or were they always no, the same? No, they were all in the same place. Right, because you know how we always could move Except them around. Except that in, in the case of these, the USMC is above the eagle, is above the emblem. On the, P, on the P-41, uh, no, it's the same way, sorry. The, the USMC was always above the, the emblem. So, that takes us up to